when I woke up this morning to make sure rooster.execute ran at my neighbor's house. As usual, I walked by the thermostat to make sure all was well with the heat pump, you know, since it's still on probation from last year. Here's what I found. As you can tell, my unit froze up. Last year, I put on the frost sensor and validated the board was working. It cools. And down in there, that's where the frost sensor is. And it is still in there. It goes in a channel. focus on it but in that fat piece right there it goes in there and it goes over to the deep frost board yeah let me take it apart just going on well here we have it It's blinking. I think it's supposed to blink on that defrost board right there. And these two yellow wires, those go to the defrost sensor over on the coils. Of course, it senses when it's cold, and then it goes into to call reversing mode. So this was working good. I'll take that wire off and measure the resistance on that. When we first bought this house a couple years ago, we had a home warranty. And we moved in. The unit really didn't work. And uh, I stayed on to them. They got it somewhat working. And then it quit. It worked. It quit. And then we found out that uh, it was licking a lot of the refrigerant out at the, uh, the reversing valve, which is kind of odd even to me. Because I've done several of these and uh, they replaced it. It didn't leak any more free on. Well, the AC, um, excuse me, the uh, the uh, heat wasn't working well. It frees up. Come to find out when they put in the reversing valve when they're sweating that in, they uh, smoked the lines to the, uh, to the frost sensor. Well, apparently the only thing they had on the truck when they went to try to replace that was not a sensor, a switch. And of course it didn't went out of warranty and I wasn't paying him to come back out and work on it So I looked at it and that's when I determined all that and I put a new sensor on it and it's been working ever since of course I Rebuilt the relay on that board I built another re I rebuilt That relay these things are expensive. I rebuilt that relay And like I said I rebuilt the relay on the fan board uh, It's been one thing after another on this thing that's a call to try and keeps on running because it got me working on it. All right, let me check resistance to this thing. Well, went to my electronics desk and grabbed me some pins from a, I forgot the name of those style connectors, but anyway, the proper pins. Got some jumpers. And we're at 47.9 ohms. Well, you know, like I said, less than a year ago I did this, and I just remember, I think it's at their Mr. Style, and I don't remember what the resistance value is supposed to be. So I'm going to go look those up. But while I do that, it's close to me having to log in and do my actual work for the day. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this thing back in, put it in uh, emergency heat, just to make sure the critters get uh, some heat, and I'll look that up and get back on this later. Well, I printed out the temperature versus resistance chart online for a 10K thermistor, and we got temperature and resistance. And if we look down, I circled the range it's supposed to be in, roughly. And uh, to me, that's cold. And you saw the coils, they were frozen up. So uh, here in a little bit, I'll go short across the board and see if it's actually working but I wanted to test this first because of problems I was having in the past 
and the house was warm enough for me to do such a thing. So, be out there in a little bit with that. As you can tell, I turned the unit back on. I'm going to go ahead and I just heard a click, and that sounded like the relays for the uh, emergency heat. Uh, I probably turned it back off during an initial hit. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to force this thing into defrost. Yeah, it's still frozen. See down there. But I'm going to force it into defrost by shorten the common and the defrost pin on the, uh, the defrost board. And it should turn the fan off, go into cooling mode, uh, which will heat up the outside coils to defrost it, the whole point, and go into emergency heat to augment uh, heating in the people compartment. That should last, I think, about one minute. So let me see what I can do here to shorten these pins. I believe it's these two here. There we go, you hear it? Reversing valve kicked in. Fan turned off. Hear that whining? Compression still running. You hear the blower running. Emergency heat should be on. Never had a problem out of emergency heat until it burnt that thing up right after we bought the house. So I had to wire that in. Yeah, I'm a certified electrician in the state of Tennessee, 1998. I don't know how valid that is now, but you know, electrons ain't changed. see it falling off down there. Sorry about the focusing on that. See that steam? Maybe you can't. Maybe you can. It's working. The system works. The sensor works. Why is it freezing up? Well, maybe I wasn't patient enough. I don't know. Give me gas any day, even though I love, <clears throat> even though I love heat pumps because they are efficient at certain temperatures. But when it gets cold outside, I, I want gas. I want to be throwing flames at them ducks. I mean, y'all heard an old Chrysler start up in cold weather. Yeah, that's me on cold. I don't do cold. No, we don't go way back. That's a long minute. It's like waiting for tacos. I mean, maybe you just need me to kick it in the butt a little bit. Yeah, it's just running off. Yeah, that drain, it was plugged up over the summer. I pulled a huge old booger slug out of that. Yeah, I normally, as you can tell, how clean it is under there. I normally keep that. I wash my unit. I just didn't get to it this year. Got too cold too fast. And it's behind the house. This is one of my two units. And uh, trying to keep both clean and everything done around the house. It takes a bit when you work it full time and all. Let's see, trying to run out right there. As long as it runs out, I don't care. Pull that drain off real quick. Just make sure. 
of this much straw that broke the camel's back. Look at that, another booger slug. Or maybe that's ice, I don't know. Sorry about the movement, but I wanted to show y'all if y'all could see the steam. And it's staying reversing this long. I guess I'm just gonna wait here. I don't want this thing stuck in reversing mode. Cause uh that'll blow lines without that pump. I mean I hate that uh fan running right there. Burn compressor up. So I'm gonna just put you on hold while this thing does its thing and hopefully I'm not in the ER. Oh yeah, she's good. You can see it raining all the way around. Oh, moving stuff out of the way here. That meter was not free. But I'm going to leave this open for the evening. Probably not. It'll probably be here until I get back out of town this weekend. But anyway, I'll leave that there just in case I got to do some quick testing. Well, maybe I was just a little gun shot on that. It looked pretty frozen to me. Uh, last year it froze up like a ooh, it, it looked like an iceberg uh, And I didn't want to get in that position again those that's a big unit. That's a four ton unit You can only imagine what those things cost and I got to stay on top of it to make sure um, When you're trying to keep your family warm and uh, You're not a rich man. You can find yourself working on things that uh, you never thought you'd really be working on. I've worked on a lot of these before, so uh, me and my wife are blessed that I do have the knowledge to do such a thing. And we did have a home warranty. We wasted money, and to me, especially on an old home. We got a restored farmhouse uh, and added on to. Uh, so uh, trying to take care of things around here and trying to take care of your family, uh, it's paramount to me. It's not a complaint. I love what I do. I love taking care of my family. I love working. Okay, that come out bad. I, I love to do things and uh, keep myself busy. Uh, like I said, I was probably a little gun shy on that because we don't like the cold. Uh, Alabama's too cold for me. I'd rather go much further than that uh, and stay, you know, 80 to 100 year round. But that's me. Um, but I hope you enjoy what you saw. It's just simple testing. Uh, if I can figure out how, there's a lot of testing that I did in the past. And if I can figure out how to make a little video out of that, I might attach it to the end of this one. I do remember to get around to edit this one to put on YouTube. Uh, we have a good weekend. And y'all get out there and do something.